Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to be in 1 Samuel chapter 3 again. We're going to pick up in verse 11. And this, uh, I, I, I've been telling everybody, and I know you've probably been feeling this, that this, this storyline and the way way the Old Testament's going to, to play out and, and flow is a little bit different pattern than the way things happen with the, like the letters of Paul and, for, and back when we were in 1 John. So we are in 1 Samuel chapter 3, and today we're going to cover verse 11. And it says here, it says, The Lord said to Samuel, now remember, let, me just, let me just stop. Just so that we're, we're, we know where we're at, Samuel ha, has laid down for the night. He, all, he lays down by the, the entrance to the temple when Eli has his spot to lay down. And they've laid down for the evening and Samuel has already three times heard the Lord call his name. And each time he's gotten up and he's run to Samuel, or run to Eli and said, did you call me? And Eli finally says, it must be the Lord calling you. So next time he calls, just say, here am I. And so that's where we're at in verse 11. And it says, and the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel, at which both ears of everyone who is who hears it will ring. The thing, the thing is, is that there had been some stuff going on uh, with the the priesthood and the religious uh, sector uh, that was not pleasing to God. It was an abomination what was going on in God's temple. And these men were doing dishonorable and profuse things in the temple. They were taking more than their share of the meat. They were charging people and making them pay more tithe. They were making the women that uh, that worked in and around the temple area uh, doing the, the things that they did, they were sleeping with them in the temple. And God was, has, has, is raising up Samuel to be that prophet to bring his word to the people. Hannah had prayed for so long. She had been barren. She had been ridiculed. She had been made fun of. She had been put down. And God finally opened up her womb and, and gave her a son, Samuel, and she did exactly what she promised. And now here we find young Samuel. Samuel's probably six, seven, eight years old at this point. And he is working in the temple, and God is fixing to use a child to bring order back to his house. The Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel at which both ears of everyone who hears it will ring. Now, the thing, the thing is, is that we don't live under New Testament, or don't live under Old Testament times. We don't live under the law. The law, for one, was never written for you and I, unless you're Jewish. It was written for the Jewish people because at one point in the in the history of Israel, God brought them out of Egypt. They got to the foot of Mount Sinai. They took their hands in their suspenders and they said, we'll do whatever you tell us to do, God. God told them to take a step back and he instituted the, the Ten Commandments and, then that, and from there the, the Levitical law came out. So it wasn't just the Ten Commandments that they had to adhere to. They had 613 Levitical laws that they had to adhere to. They had sacrifices that had to be done a certain way. They had the, the things that were supposed to be done uh, in a certain order. And this is what was happening in the, t in the temple, that things were totally out of right. How many times have we found ourselves in situations where our lives have been out of order? God doesn't require sacrifices. God doesn't require us to... Uh, put to death people that aren't living the way they should. But God has given us grace and God has given us His love and God has pointed us to our Savior. 
and that's to Jesus and that's what the, the law did in itself was that it brought us to the end of ourselves and pointed us to a, the need for a savior which was Jesus and he was coming at this point and Samuel here as a young child that was going to restore order or God was going to use to restore order to his house so let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this story that is continuing to unfold. We see how good you truly are. Father, we love you and we need you. We stand in need of your touch today. And I pray blessings upon each person watching and listening to this video and these podcasts. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. And I hope you will continue to follow me here on the daily ride. And I hope you will keep riding.